back to my YouTube channel. I want to show you today how you can edit in Photoshop. I use CS6 uh, and your pictures and give them a silhouette effect. Because I live by the sea, I happen to take a lot of these pictures and there is a way to simply edit and obtain this effect using Photoshop incorporated effect uh, tools or I usually use others that I installed, plugins and applications. I'm going to show you the easy one and I'm going to start with Ctrl J. I use Windows. So the first thing that I want to do is go on creating a gradient map color effect. That means that I'm going to click here and I'm going to choose the orange and the lilac uh, color palette. You're going to go left where you have the lilac color, click it, and then click the color in order to change the color to black. OK. And OK. Don't worry, the picture is not going to remain like this, but this is the first step. We're going to go further now and create a new layer and Use the second effect that's going to uh, bring you closer to what you need from a silhouette picture. And that is color lookup. This is the effect I use on absolutely every single picture that I edit. So color lookup, you're going to go to the first list and we will work today with crisp warm. This is going to give that warm color uh, effect. To your pictures but you will see later that the picture is not going to remain like this because this is a little bit outrageous and this never happens in real life i mean you will never have this orange so next here where we had layer we're going to create a new one and set overlay choose a brush brush tool and you're going to use the big brackets to make smaller or bigger your uh, brush size, okay? Make sure that you have the white color here and just go and brush all your picture so that we can keep a little bit of reality in the picture. You will see later where this helps. So this is about everything that we're going to do to this picture. And now we're going to slowly go to each and every single one of our layers and select the opacity we want to work with. The first thing you need to know, when you work with gradient map, you are not going to want... I will close color lookup for now, okay? And I will close also this. So, when you work with gradient map, you don't want to keep it like this. You will always want to use a soft light uh, effect on it, not normal, because the normal keeps it keeps the colors you chose. So if this wouldn't have been black, you would have had blue, for example, and it doesn't work. But what soft light does is the soft light effect, so it helps leaving the amount of color needed. Okay, I'm going to work with about 80%. Open color lookup, you see? immediately the picture is better it looks better and it's more natural so to speak okay you can go here again for soft light but it might be too dark it depends how are your shadows i will choose uh, to work with the normal but i will go a little bit 80 percent and now we will open the layer that we created the white overlay layer and we will choose maximum 20 percent okay this is the size you want to choose okay so now depending on what you want if you want it to be uh darker you will, will work with what i told you and you will find exactly what works with the light you have and with your shadows but for me this is good now so if you have any questions feel free to comment otherwise thank you very much for watching